Hey yo, welcome back to the show. Today we got uh, Nick Vote over at Joey's. It's gonna be freaking amazing. I can almost guarantee it. I saw that he was getting into it with the tribe. I'm not sure if I recorded that, but I was watching it a little bit earlier and I know I recorded when he joined the panel. So, unless he joined multiple times, that should be in here. Um, yeah, this is gonna be entertaining, trust me. Nice job, my husband uh, passed away from cancer. Because the you, what you just said was in the present tense, like, nice job, Nick. My husband dies of cancer, rather saying, yes, I understand, and I'm not mocking any family losses you've had. Nice job, Nick. My husband dies of cancer. From them too. That was so a I great pose. Nick looked, Claire, like, Nick looked like an not, archery trophy for a minute. Not to tell a client, but. Teleclient is clearly those type of people who want to troll you to try to get you to say something wrong and they're going to run with it. You know, then her and her 23 <laughs> subscribers, her um, and her friend can watch it. Um, when did, hey, Cloud, when did Cloud, you mock make... Dan? Why did you mock I am a widow? All right. Uh, this is already good. I don't even know what the fuck we walked into, but this is already good, you guys. So, uh, to be fair, I saw the cancer thing before about liver cancer. Uh, I was unaware that you'd suffered any close loss to cancer Good night, until just now. What you just told me. I'm sorry for your Take loss. it easy. That's Take it easy, Wabbit. That's, I get it, you know. And tell her, jump even, up on panel. And tell her, I'll yes. even go so far as to say, I don't know. I know if that happened to me, I would not be in the proper emotional state. And I wish if I were acting a bit ridiculous that people would forgive me so i'll go ahead and Whoa. do that same thing with you <laughs> what the fuck why why is he going to tell a client now what the fuck is wrong with people man and what world nick do you think this is like gonna go good for you you know you dab on her dead husband and, you know like this is stupid you're hanging around joey too much you're doing dumb shit i mean I would just drop it if I were you. I would just walk away from it, but no, no, no. You make me content gay. Corner. Wait, wait, I just gotta. I just gotta point out that M corner spelled unparalleled correctly. No, no. That's a. That's not bad. Wow, Nick. Who are you? Uh, well, tell her. I know that you're the same age as Dr. Dave, so I assume that. Very good. YouTube is your only job because if it's only a hobby and you're implying that you already had a job, then well, well we can have a conversation about yes, how yeah. we feel about the United States capitalist economy. How somebody your age should still be working a job. <laughs> oh, holy shit, you guys. I did not know Nick Bolt was such an arrogant Prick, you know, like such a douchebag. That's funny. It's, it's interesting. Oh, I'll be right back. <laughs> Dan, so, tell hey, going Joe, hard. thank you for letting me vent. Okay. That was fun. The, uh, <laughs> yeah, <that's> fun. <laughs> yo, 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 that's what I love about Tella. She's like this little older lady. She just comes around and she triggered the okay. shit out of Dave or anybody. <laughs> yo, Tella, you know we're cool, right? Tella, we're you know, cool. You know there's nothing no, of my no need for the, corner. Hey, nothing. Tell her. Tell her there's no need for you to make any Whoa. videos about me. I've never said nothing about you. You know I like you, Tell her. <laughs> tell her makes me laugh, man. <laughs> oh, man. She should get up on the panel. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, well, first of all, I... It's not. Yeah, it's not. To, it's none of my favorite. To get me, just to get me to talk about it, right, Connor? Good Yo, luck. So Connor, I, I, back. I didn't run that far. Okay? I, I came back. I want. I... Who's corner? What happened, Fluffy? Who's corner? Being a YouTube suck ass is the height of Saul's power. It's not, and he's a personal he's troll. Of, uh, a personal someone. troll of Fluffy and myself. Oh, they tell them so from now on, any, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, from from now on, I have an idea, but I think it's JL one on that fat fuck. That fat oh, that bitch. fucking queer. Was yeah. it the gay dude? The fat lady. Oh, it was the, the, it was the, the 
Man, why is Saul so triggered? Speaking of bitches, Joey never responded to my um challenge, did he? Is he gonna respond? Or any of you guys gonna respond? Huh? <laughs> oh, he was talking about, oh yes, I'm a bisexual. You're talking about the dude that was on Dave's channel? Yeah. The other night, oh, dude, that, you sound like a faggot. <laughs> that fat thing, whatever that is. Dude, I wanted to clown him so bad, but Dr. Dave kept muting me. <laughs> Another tough guy. Believe it or not, he's got an open challenge <laughs> to everybody, supposedly. That's what the demon says. <clears throat> hey, Saul, hey, Saul, did you see Dr. Dave's panel that night? Hey, when Doctor, the first thing he did when Doctor Dave put him on the panel, and he started talking, I said, I said, damn, I said, I said, dude, you sound gay. <laughs> Doctor Dave got mad at me. He goes, Joe, Joe, he goes, Joe, Joe, no, wait, wait, Joe, Joe, Joe. You hit the nail right on the head. <laughs> I was like, dude, you sound gay. Doctor Dave got mad at me. <laughs> Not too many men walking around with a rainbow beard that aren't. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, I take man. it back. I take it back. I, I do not believe Tella Klein is an older woman. Um, first of all, assuming that she is an older woman, um, look, I understand your loss. You keep on bringing that up <laughs> as what I feel as sort of an excuse for your behavior. Mr. to be you're funny. <laughs> I will accept that. I get it. Um, but, um, you know, I've suffered loss in my family too, and I've suffered personal loss. I don't use that as an excuse. Like, tell her, you need to respect me because, you know, I lost my best friend two years ago, you know, or I lost, you know, so-and-so. Um, but hey, I get it. I get it. So fine. But um, just don't talk shit on me. Le leave me out of your <laughs> conflict with Dave. But you're the one who started. You're the one who brought my name up first. And I felt it necessary to respond. He's doing the um, Chile the Castro thing. He's just fast tracking it. He's like, yeah, I dabbed on your dead husband. Yeah, I said, you know, at least I got somebody to grow old with. I know you're probably going to cry tonight thinking about it. But, you know, I apologized in the same fucking, like, ten minutes. And I know that shit's going to affect you for hours or days or weeks. But, uh, who gives a fuck? I'm a fucking physicist guy. <sighs> Man, you're acting like a stupid prick today, Nick. I'm not sure why. Uh, it's fine, though. You know, she's probably not going to put your name in her mouth, but I sure as hell am. Because you want me to respect your feelings, <laughs> but you have no respect for my feelings whatsoever. You think you can just attack me with impunity. What, because my <laughs> wife hasn't died of cancer? You think that it's I'm fair game, but you're not? You can talk all the <laughs> shit you want, but I can't? Come on, you're being ridiculous. And what I meant about growing old, I meant grandkids. Um, so, and again... That was an insult, just to counter your insult, okay? <laughs> I, I figured you were smart enough to understand that when we're arguing, we say silly things. Like, you know, when I say, my God, you're a stupid woman. Uh, I don't actually have ev evidence that you're a stupid woman. I hey, when I was getting a, um, you're a stupid woman vibe coming off of Nick Volt, just for probably any women, I'm pretty sure you probably too fucking treats his wife like shit too dude i mean like i just doubt this guy respects women at this point because he's just this seems like something else he's not even saying what tala klein did to him he's just calling her names he's doing what the tribe does he's acting like a little sensitive bitch that's what he's doing right now also i owe you for that one joey sensitive little bitch man you you just put it on display and it's stuck man if you keep hearing it it's because we're calling it out, you know? We see it. I don't have your IQ test here, but I'm saying it to <laughs> get a fuck? rise out of you, and clearly it's working. <laughs> there you go, Tella. <laughs> go ahead and believe whatever Dave says. Tella, didn't I just tell you I didn't believe what Dave said? Didn't I just tell you that? And didn't I just show you that I chose to view you and for the longest time didn't listen to anything Dave said until he started acting like what, what Dave did Dave said. say? Because typically from experience, Dave said, whatever Tella he says was is a the terrible opposite. person. And, you know, she was trying to start shit and get the community against uh, him. And, you know, I always told Dave, I was like, you know, Tella does the cool Glenn Serio stuff. I mean, I guess somebody's got to not have a day job and follow him around all day. <laughs> And um, and uh, it's like I enjoy her content, so 
I, I've never seen her oh, do anything goodness. bad. And I see her in other chats. She doesn't do anything bad. Tell her. We like tell her. And tell her, I told you, even that other day when I called you out, well, the thing is, you didn't get, it, it, when I called you out, and I said, look, people show me who they are. You tell me who you are. And you showed me who you are. Because you decided to judge me just because I'm friends with Dave. I get it. You and Dave have some serious issues. It happens. Um, I'm not going to take sides on that because, well, to be perfectly fair, Tella, I know Dave. Okay, Dave is my friend. I don't know who you are. So why the fuck did you think I should let you decide or let you judge who I should be friends with and who I shouldn't be friends with when I don't even know who you are? But tell her, you couldn't accept that. You're like, oh, you chose Dave. Like, for example, you just said. Uh, and now you're getting defensive. Your opinion has no worth. I'm not trying to hurt your self-worth. I assume that as a strong woman, you have good self-worth. For example, tell her, there's nothing you can tell me that's going to diminish my self-worth. That wasn't the game we're playing. I'm just saying, as a human being, you chose not to know who I am before you decided to judge me. I didn't do the same to you, but I will say this, that, well, perhaps I came to the same conclusion about you as you came to me. You showed me who you were. And based on what you were writing in the chat, what you're writing in the chat right now, what you're writing in the chat in other places, everything Dave said about you, I'm sorry, all of what he says how you are fits your MO right now. That's all I'm saying. That That's exactly what Dave said you would do. So there it is. Anyways, tell her I'm done with you. So. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh, I'm sorry. Look, look at that. Everyone's trying to shut down Jay's channel. Haven't you heard? Oh, shit. Oh, well, no. Try back. You know what, Tella? I'm going to be friends with Dave even if and when you guys get his channel down. So that's why I don't give a shit. Everyone's trying to shut. I'm gonna shut down Dave's channel now too. Fuck it. No, I think Dave decided not to do hate speech, and we all were like, "Okay, that's good enough. Let's all be chill." I'm not sure what happened since you know I went to sleep, woke up, and well, I spent most of the day today just playing Fortnite, and then I was like, "You know, I'll make some videos." Um, yeah, so I I missed a lot. <laughs> it is kind of where I'm jumping back in, and Nick Volt's on this channel, and. I always follow Nick Volt around, too. Yeah, let's all shut down. Just real quick. Just real quick, I'm going to say, because uh, I've got some friends over here, so i got to go. But, um, dude, BSBT, you have no proof. Me razzing you because of your debate style when you were actually there in the in the chat is you turning it into me using your children against you as a weapon. And you have no proof of that. You backtracked and you backpedaled. I'll take your apology any day now. Because uh, <laughs> I never brought up your children. You're the only one that's brought them up. And all I did was give you shit for your debating style because it sucked. Sorry. <laughs> you were there in the chat the when fuck? I freaking said it. So you saying that, oh, you're talking shit behind people's backs. You're up on Joe's panel all the time talking shit about people. And they're not in the chat. So glass glass houses, man. Glass houses. Okay. Anyways, I um I gotta go. I got a couple people that uh, just showed up. Hey, hey. You see yeah. you, Megan. And Joe, I know you're saying you're you like messaging Tella. Jennifer Klein. Oh no! Yeah, take <laughs> fun of your debate style, you pathetic, thin-skinned little snowflake. God, do you ever say anything <laughs> positive ever? Like every time I hear from you, you are whining about something. Stop whining. You sound like Tella. Tell you, I tell you Always everything whining. I think Always about you straight to your face, straight to your face, BSBT. I don't need to talk shit behind your back. Is Tella Klein related to Jennifer Klein? Uh, I don't think so. Are they, re are they related? You're messaging Jennifer Klein. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Be better at debates. Oh, he wants to link. I won't make fun hey. of your debating style. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get him on state. He wants to come on the link. Let's give him the link. Uh, 
I know. Get a link real quick. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Look, go. BS- go BSBT versus Megan is going to be much more. Yeah. 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 Than, yeah. But I don't have time for that. Just, I literally have people no, sitting in my living room. Hold on. Tell a client is already in the room. I actually feel bad about bashing her anymore. Hold on. So Megan, you take over. Well, no, I because, literally uh, have friends that are sitting on my couch, and it's rude for me to be ignoring them. Five I know, but I don't Just want to go thermonuclear on tele, oh. so. Okay, all right, well, give me one. And on that lovely note, we will wrap this up, because it kind of segues to a whole different thing. So we will pick it up, but it's going to be mostly Megan and Broken System Broken Trust next. So see you in the next one.